Hello everyone, I'm Cordia and in this video I'm going to talk about the erasers that I use in my charcoal and graphite drawings and I show you how to work with them. Well, the erasers not only correct your mistakes but also you can use them for creating various textures in your drawings and these five erasers help you to improve in hyperrealism. So the first eraser is ordinary eraser that I'm sure all of you have it I use this mainly for sketching but you can be creative, for example here I used an ordinary eraser for drawing the clouds. The second eraser is kneaded eraser which is kneadable and could be formed in any shape that you want. You can form it to a pointy shape and use it for creating skin texture, details and lift up layers of graphite or charcoal by tapping it on paper and lighting up the parts that you think as dark. Its erasing power is not as much as ordinary eraser but that's not a bad thing because we use this characteristic for lighten the values, not erasing. But the point is you shouldn't use kneaded eraser under a base layer because if you use it before shading a white surface, dirty spots will appear later. Next eraser is Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. I always thought that it's not so necessary but after using it, it became my favorite tool. I use it for drawing hairs, thin lines and fine details because it's so precise and erases very well. It's refillable and works like a mechanical pencil. It might be a little expensive but buying it is a good investment on your art. Next one is eraser pencil. It's useful for drawing small details that are not so light like skin texture, lips, wrinkles and etc. This one is MQ that is a little soft and this one is Fabric Castle which is more hard. So Fabric Castle has more erasing power and is more accurate but overall they do the same job for me. Also these erasers can fix the unwanted spots on paper which I need to show you in another video. And the last one is electric eraser for creating sharp and bright highlights like sparkling eye, shines of skin texture and drops of water. Sometimes it's even work better than jelly pen or white gouache. The eraser that I'm using is Tanvin. It works with two batteries and has two holders so you can change the size of erasers based on your need. Also you can adjust the length of erasers. I really like this eraser because it's so easy to control and it's not short and heavy. I don't tell you to buy any specific electric eraser but if you want to get a one just make sure that it has two holders. And for sharpening it, you need a sandpaper and you will be surprised with the result. So these were all the erasers that I use and recommend. I hope you enjoyed this video and please if you did, don't forget to support my channel. Thanks for watching and bye!